Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for our prayer and fasting. We are ending tonight. Midnight. It is over. We bless you and we give you all the glory. It's all about you, Lord. My Father and my God, I thank you for the partners. I thank you for connecting. I thank you for your divine restoration of our marriages. God, my Father, thank you for finding us. Our wife, our husband, Lord, during these 372 hours prayer and fasting, God, we thank you, Lord, for what you have doing to our life. We thank you, Lord, for restoring our marriages, our, our, our marriage, God, my Father. God, my Father, I thank you, Jesus. I give all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want to welcome you once again. Thank you for joining. Thank you for coming. Those who have been following me all through. Since we started there on Friday, prayer and fasting, 72 hours, uh, prayer and fasting, thank you. God, is, God has restored your marriage. God has connected so many of you. You will be connected. You will start receiving your partners in Jesus' name. I prophesy to you today, tonight, that the Lord told me to tell you that it is not too late for you. To get your partner your partner is on the way don't 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 be sad that 72 is still nothing is happening to you the god is timing is not your time this was yeah, um, uh, our time but it is a season of restoring your marriage restoring back restoring what the enemy has taken from you all this year you have been single but now your singlehood has ended as 72 hours is ending, your singlehood has ended. Con uh, you will receive restoration. You will receive your marriage back in the name of Jesus. Those people who have been living in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a different house or one bed but they don't talk, husband and a wife, the couples are, who have been married but they have no love, they have no love to each other, they don't feel any, any love to each other. The Lord is storing you, you are storing your marriage. 72 hours as it's ending, your marriage is restored in the name of Jesus. I say that there's someone here, you have been crying, it's a woman. You have been talking and calling your name, thinking that is this a wrong thing that I did? What, what did I do to my God? Why can't God hear my prayer? Why is it that I am this age and I have no child, I have no, I have no husband? When am I going to get married? Your tears is ended. At 72 hours is ended, your tears has ended. Your partner is coming, it's on the way. You will have a new partner. You have, those who are bringing games with you, their end has come. At 72 hours is ending, it has ended now. The person who will come to your life will be a very serious person and it will speed up. The Lord is going to speed some of your marriage. Even you can never, you, you may not think of the way God is going to speed it them. So you be ready. Be ready that the speed of God, it is going very fast. And God is going to do introduction very fast. Showers of blessings of your children, your baby, will be next year around, uh, around September. Yes, most of you, the latest will be next year around September. You will start seeing your child. Showers of, 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 of children will, will rise up will come. I will be speaking that soon. God will help you in the name of Jesus. Your end has come as 72 hours is ending. The end of everything that has been holding you, it has come to an end. It is a time to stop, to stop every evil power working against your marriage. We are going to talk about prayers to stop evil power working against your marriage, working against marriage. It is the time to stop because the word of God says so. If you cannot stop this, it will continue, 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 and it, 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 will not, it, it is not going to be good. It is not going to be good. So we have to step a step of faith and stop this. As the word of God said, we have to honor the word of God and we go with the word of God. 
because it doesn't change. Therefore, people of God, I am telling you that God is able and God has heard your prayer and your prayer. This prayer of 72 hours, it will not go free. It, is, it has hooked a man, it has hooked a wife to come to you. It has hooked a man, especially ladies, single ladies. The Lord has heard your cry. And you will call and tell me that you have, you have, you have got your spouse. I, am, I know some people are calling me to tell me to, if, if that is the right person. And I've been praying and prophesying against them. So wait and see. God is faithful and God is a holy God. It doesn't change. Let's look in the book of Mark 10, verse 7 to 9. Welcome once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki. Welcome you. Prayer to stop evil power working against marriage. Prayer to stop evil power working against marriage. In the book of Mark 10, 7 to 9, the Bible says, For this cause shall a man leave his Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and, and crave to his wife, and the twins shall be one fresh. So they are no more twins, but one fresh. Wherefore, what God has joined together, let no man Put asunder. So the Bible is telling us that the Bible is saying us that a man shall leave his wife, he, he, the, the, a man shall leave his father and mother, and they will they, they will join together as a wife and they will become twin. So the Bible is recommending you that the Bible is saying you will leave your father, your father's house, your mother's house. And you will join together with your husband, with your wife. So this is the commandment. This is the law. This is what God says. This is what God has says. So there is no way that you cannot leave your parents so that you can join your, 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 your husband, your wife. This is God has said. And God has said, uh, 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 wherefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So any man put asunder your marriage, let this man die. Let this power be destroyed in Jesus' name. Because you have to stop this evil working against marriage. There is a lot of sunder that has been put into the marriage that you cannot enjoy your marriage. The Bible has given you power that you will leave your parents to go and join. So say, Lord, I want to leave my parents. I want to join my husband. Where is my husband? Lord, I thank you for my husband. And no power, no sander, no human being. Because the Bible says, no, let no man put a sander. Let no man put a sander in your marriage. Not, no man put a sander in your marriage. Not, let, let no man put a sander in your marriage. When the sander, many marriages, it is man who put the sander. So we pray, I pray that let man, let you, human being, not let human being to put any obstacles, any sander in your marriage in the name of Jesus. I destroy every evil that has been programmed in your marriage to be destroyed in Jesus' name. This, you, pray, you pray because it is the word of God which says, so now the word of God is not, it's not, it's not, it's not contradicted. It says that if there will be any man that will bring sander, destroy your marriage. If there is a woman taking your husband, taking your boyfriend, taking your girlfriend, let this man be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let this man suffer the tragedy in the name of Jesus. Let this 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 person who is against who is holding you. If it is a witch, if it is a witchcraft holding your marriage, let this witchcraft die because the Bible says. The witchcraft shall not live. The Bible says, let's serve and not a witch to live. Therefore, any evil planning against your marriage, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray a big stop from any evil that is working against your marriage. 
They are working against my, your marriage that you cannot be married. But now I pray and break every covenant, break every evil, every curses that is holding you from marriage. In the name of Jesus, being, being married, let those power be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will protect your marriage when you will get married. And those who are married, let their marriage be, be protected by fire in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God Almighty will remove any power, anywhere that is standing against your marriage in Jesus' name. Father Lord, remove from any evil self-imposed and every parental problems brought into your marriage, brought into your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is parents holding you not to go, let this parent leave you in Jesus' name. If it is your father's power, your father's power, your father's power, that is holding you from getting married. You know there's some wicked father, some wicked parents marrying their daughter in a spiritual realm so that their daughter cannot go. They can be slaves in the house. If it is your mother's house, power that is holding you, I break them and I release you in Jesus' name. I break them and release you in Jesus' name. I pray for someone, if there's powers, any powers of your father's house, any powers of your mother's house holding you, I cancel them, I break them, I crush them, I cast them in Jesus' name. I pray every powers of your village holding you, I, I command them to get out of your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray ancestral powers, ancestral powers, holding you captivity, that they don't want you to go. Let this power be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody. If I pray for somebody, the powers of your father's house, the powers of your mother's house, that is all in you. I break them into pieces in Jesus' name. I am commanding them to leave you and let you go in Jesus' name. Because the Bible says that you will leave them. So if they are holding you, that they don't want you to go. Let this power de be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray that God will give you stable marriage. That God will give you the man that you love. That God will connect you the man that you like, the woman that you like. And there will be no thunder. There will be no powers of darkness that will come against your marriage, against you to stop your marriage in Jesus' name. My Father, I want to thank you. I bless your name. I give you the glory. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for connection. Thank you for connecting the, your people that they are going to get married. Believe me, this is what I say, that God has heard your prayer. God has heard your cry. It is, is, it is your time to connect you. Leave that wicked man. Leave that wicked woman. Give that debt that you have been dating for so long. No direction. Nothing is going on. Leave it. That is not the plan of God. A serious marriage a boyfriend or a woman, a girlfriend, you are talking about how you are getting married. But if there is nothing like that, that is not marriage. It is fornication. And when you do adultery and fornication, it is not going to please God, and God is against that. So if you have a boyfriend who wants your body, or a girlfriend who wants your body, that is not marriage. It, it cannot stand. Thunder will come, and then it will destroy your marriage. So plan very well. Plan and say, let, let's fix, know each other, talk about marriage, talk about your finances, talk about how, you will, you will, how many children you will have, talk your future. But when you start talking about sex, about going to bed, it is not going to work for you. The man will test you and, and like, like orange. After testing you, he will leave you in the garbage and go to another one. A woman is the same thing. So any man who wants to test you, it's not going to work because you will divide yourself. You will divide yourself and God will not be there. So I am I'm, I'm, I'm asking you that any love, any, any making love before marriage is not, is not recommended. It's not accept, acceptable. I am praying that God will help you. That God will help you and get you somebody you love that will, is seriously to love you and, and take you as, a, as the way you are.
in the name of Jesus. I pray any sickness, any disability that is hindering you from getting married, I break them and I destroy them. I pray that the healing, I pray for healing. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for healing, disability that will hinder you from getting married. I break them and destroy them. I pray that God, every curses, every infirmity and the curses that has been blessed in you through sickness and the diseases, let that diseases be destroyed in Jesus' name. Any curse that has pressed in your marriage through sickness and the diseases, I destroy them in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your finances that God will give you a good job, will give you finance for your wedding, that you will be stable. The word stable is in my head, in my, my spirit all the time, that you will be stable. Your finances, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your finances. I pray for your miracle, 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 financial breakthrough, that, will, that you will receive it in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that God will, will, will give you a financial breakthrough. At the same time, I am praying for your, your, the fruit of your womb. You will, be, you will get baby. You cannot be married and you don't have children unless you don't need a child. If you need children, I pray for your womb, the, the, the Lord to touch your womb in the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, call me to stand with you in this season of prayer. As we, we end it up, you can now break your fasting. You are free. God has heard your prayers. You, you will wait. You, are, you will get that call phone. You will get connection. God has heard your prayers. Within this time, as we, we end our, our prayer, God has heard you. Therefore, you will receive good news soon. If you have not received the three days, you are going to receive it. It's not ended. It's, it's going on. The Holy Spirit is searching. It's searching. It's going to bring them. It's going to bring your partner in the name of Jesus. I am praying for restoration of your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. And uh, we, will, we, will, we will continue praying. And I will stand with you. If you need prayers, call me. My number is 647-608-5207. I understand people telling me that this number doesn't go through, but I don't know what's wrong. You can call this number. If 647-608-5207 is not going through, call this number. 905-487-7196. 905-487-7196. If you call, you call this number, you will reach me. Also, you can go to our the another number. We have three lines: eight seven seven two four one three four two zero extension one o one. This one, if if it will come, so don't excuse yourself. You say you try to call me, then my number is not going through. I have given you three numbers, and all these numbers are ours. It will come to us. So you have to get me if you need me in the name of Jesus, or if you need. You can email me. Our email is overcomers, dhm at gmail.com. Also, you can go to our website, www.overcomers, dh, ministry.blogspot.ca. You cannot miss us. You always get us. Go to our YouTube, subscribe, subscribe the videos, and the videos will come directly to you. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful time. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Continue inviting your, your friends and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye for now. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sik, saying bye-bye. Have a wonderful time. Thank you. Bye. Bye, prayer line. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.